Yeah, I know. I'm falling off the stool. I know. I'm saying, hold on. I'm, I'm, I, need a str I, need a, I need to straddle it, you know? All right, so we posted some pictures and basically asked the internet to roast us. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm expecting and hoping that there's not like just lackadaisical fat jokes in there. Like, come on. Like, if, if there is a fat joke, at least make it like clever, you know? And then I'm expecting, I looked very, uh, creepy in my photo. <laughs> like I looked uh, a little, uh, you know, I looked creepy. Yeah, I'm expecting, I posted a shirtless picture to try to give him some fodder. And I'm expecting a lot of comments about that. You know, a lot of body shaming, that type of deal. Uh, maybe perhaps a, a, a couple comments that suggest I suck dick for a living. That'll probably be in there. We'll see. All right, so what I'm expecting, I didn't know that when I, sent, when I sent all the pictures and then the last one, I didn't know that they would primarily see the roast me one. So I kind of just tried to make it funny, but it, it looks like that's going to bite me in the ass. And then I'm looking at the one with heart glasses. I'm in a dress. So a lot of these look uh, a little, you know. A little what? Little, you know, a little homoerotic, just a little. So I'm expecting most of that. Yeah, that first photo. I mean, it looks like, like I'm a, the Unabomber or something. Let's see, the next photo, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot to say about that one, but I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, the third photo is one of my favorite photos of myself. Uh, this is after a heavy night of drinking. Um, I'm at work in this picture, so that tells you a lot about my life. Yeah, so the, uh, to give them most, the most fodder to insult me, I posted a shirtless picture as the first one. Uh, the next one, I did not shave for maybe four months, and I have a big old beard. Uh, I have another beard in the, in, the, in the third one. So for the fourth one, it's just a normal picture. One might just pierce the armor. I'll start crying. I don't know. And I'm sure there's going to be something about the Hulk hand. So I put as the title, uh, I'm pretty dumb, I'm kind of annoying, and I talk too much. <laughs> Roast me. So the title for mine is Feeling Good, Staying Quarantined on a Friday Night. A little too good, dot, dot, dot. Oh, the title, right. Please, I'm begging you, just eviscerate me, no holding back. So. Which sounds gay already. Yeah, exactly. You did that on purpose. Somebody first one said, stay in quarantine on a Friday night. So in other words, just like every other Friday during your whole existence. Uh, I see you've been skipping package days. Is that a small dick joke? <laughs> Is that the whole can your boyfriend uses to fist you? Uh, I refuse to roast you for the sake of your classmates. <laughs> See, that's a good one. That's what I was saying, dude. I look like the fucking... That's really good. Wolverine. <laughs> yep, here it is. This guy only posts pictures with items he has personally rectally examined. <laughs> right up my butt. Look like Jonah Hill and Gibby from iCarly fused together and created the most disinteresting man in the world. <laughs> Il Frigno? Oh. <laughs> Lou, Lou, Lou yeah, Frigno, Lou the whole Hulk can. Uh, that's good. I'm sure you'll be quarantined on every Friday night for many man years. I don't know what many man years are. <laughs> You look like a wannabe Kyle. Oh wow, this got a lot of replies. His mommy said he couldn't have Monster, so he drinks Mountain Dew instead. LOL, and punches cardboard boxes instead of drywall. Because he never got breastfed, so he doesn't have calcium in his bones. Man, this is a team effort. That was four, that was four replies. Oh, this one's just, see, see this one's just rude. This one just says your floor doesn't feel good. <laughs> Kind of looks like a douche, too. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, he wrote a oh, novel! <laughs> uh, you're an incel, Harry. <laughs> What's an incel? That's a good one. That's a good one. Involuntarily celibate. First of all, I can't even read this well. That's number one. Standing back and standing by. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus goddamn fucking Christ, where to begin? First of all, your receding hairline is only overshadowed by the attempt at styling your hair in a cool, modern way. Got me. Which would be fine on its own, if not for the fact that your cranium looks like it would be legal to use as a ball in a soccer <laughs> game. Seriously? You're so... Um, if tofu was a person, 
I don't like that one. <laughs> Fuck you. Walmart Logan Paul. <laughs> You're so round, computers should not be able to calculate the amount of tiny ass angles on your face. How do you even register the picture in, to the site? But of course that's not the worst of it. That's only your appearance. Nothing you can change and nothing you can change. And I can't get mad at you for that. Maybe your hair is just that bad and you couldn't style it in any way that doesn't scream. I try so hard, but really didn't get far. <laughs> this, the, I struck a chord in this guy. It's like someone put a size small face on a size XXL head. <laughs> is my head that small? <laughs> or is my head that large compared to my face? I thought I had you know, um, equi-sized features. I do have a small mouth. What I can, what I can get pissed at is your choice of attire. You do realize these glasses make your attempt at being unique blatantly obvious and that this simple fact makes you unbearable to look at, correct? That's a lot of people's opinions. There is no conceptual reason anyone would wear these other than that. But you, as the true embodiment of, what's that? R slash not like other guys. R slash not like the other guys went yet a step further. With a fucking whole cup holder. <laughs> you probably don't even watch Marvel movies. All right, now you're starting to lose me. Tilting your head back will not hide your double chin. <laughs> Stop the hobo cum from dribbling out of your mouth. <laughs> and have no place of your own in any shape or form in geek culture, but dear... God, do you try to, because despite your lack of interest in it, your LGBT rejected ass couldn't find a spot in any other communities. <laughs> and so you take the cheap out option and just buy related merch to try and appear as though you belong while internally sweating, hoping no one will ask you any questions related to this subject you couldn't give any less of a shit about. There's more, there's more, hold on. Uh, oof. <laughs> oof, Crocker's been eating his feelings out from not being able to catch Cosmo and Wanda. <laughs> that one's really good. See, that's a, that's a great joke. I like that. But none of this comes even close. Oh, this is, this is the finale. But none of this comes even close to the thing that angers me the most is this the fact that radiates off you like nuclear juices still seeping into Fukushima. Fukushima soil, your entire appearance, and I'm speaking of your choices of expression mannerisms, like the way you holding that goddamn piece of paper and clothing, manages to do two things. It both manages to, it both manages to try so hard to be unique while also being nothing more than a jumbled up mess of copy-pasted personality traits belonging to individuals so inherently different that them being present together in the same room should by all means create a fucking tear in the space-time continuum. You're the type of guy I thought looked cool when I was young. Then I turned five. <laughs> Thank God for quarantine, right? Because this is exactly like every other Friday night. <laughs> come on, guys. Let's, come on. I'm more impressed with how I'm reading. I think I'm doing very well. The way, the way you dress yourself, style yourself, and the mannerisms you take on the picture signals a complete lack of personality that you make up for not through a long and tedious process of introspection and self-discovery, but rather through a few hours of searching up Facebook profiles on Google and picking out <laughs> traits you see in others and incorporating them into your personality. If that wasn't something I saw in so many people every single day, I'd accuse you of being an alien who has no idea what a human is beyond their vague... Now you lost me on that last word. Side... 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 Oh, physio... anatomy I don't think it's side. Physica... Physicogotomy. Physically got me. Uh, closing thoughts? I, well, well, I think for sure, um, you know, I think the Picky Boys fans can probably do better than Reddit. So I think in the comments below, you should definitely roast us. This is your one opportunity. Well, I mean, I guess you could do it either way. <laughs> but, hey, roast us. Roast Johnny. Roast yeah, this guy. Yeah, roast Johnny. Roast any of the... No. 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do that. Just roast us. Just roast us. <laughs> That's fine. But this is your opportunity, if you say you like us, to roast us in the comments below. I can handle it. And maybe we'll make a... Hopefully, we get so many roasts, we can make a second video of just our fans. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Do the beep boops. And, you know... I got some in my eye.